Kenyans are staring at difficult times ahead following a sharp increase in fuel prices. Matatu operators say they will be forced to hike fare so as to cushion themselves as they are currently operating at half capacity. The latest review by the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority coming at a time when Kenyans are battling the coronavirus pandemic. Alan Ochanda reports. Still stuck in the middle of a pandemic and enduring its pangs that have ravaged livelihoods and the economy, Kenyans will have to tighten their belts as the situation may just worsen following an upward review of petroleum products prices. The recent changes effected Wednesday midnight have seen a litre of petrol cost 100 shillings, a litre of diesel now going for 91 shillings, while a litre of paraffin is costing 65 shillings. Wakati biashara ilikuwa imefungwa mafuta yalikuwa chini. Na saa hii wamefungulia mambo ya Nairobi wamefungulia kila mahali serikali imefungua. Hiyo hiyo serikali tena imekuja imepandiza dini, imepandiza mafuta. Maisha yamekuwa ngumu kwa wananchi wa kawaida. Kwa sababu wakati serikali inapandiza mafuta lazima fair itapanda. Sasa wanaongeza mafuta na sisi iko na shida hakuna pesa tutapata wapi pesa nyingine sasa. Hmm? Hata chakula kukula ndio hakuna. Mafuta wanaongeza usiku kama tunalala. Unaamuka asubuhi mafuta iko juu. Kuongezeka kwa mafuta tunasema inatumiza sisi kama wafanyabiashara wa tuktuk. Tungependelea angalau ipunguzwe chini hata kama mali ilikuwa 75 ilikuwa poa. When the government imposed cessation of movement on Nairobi and Mombasa counties in March this year, matatu operators counted losses running into millions and with transport protocols still in place public service vehicles are carrying half their capacities. These high fuel prices mean that the once booming business remains unattractive. Kama magali saa hii inabeba watu 7 ama watu 8. Na fear unajua kwamba imekuwa chini kidogo kwa sababu mafuta imekuwa chini. Lakini kwa hivi sasa jinsi ambavyo mafuta imeweza kuongezewa na kufika shilingi 100 kwa petroli na kufika shilingi 91 kwa mafuta ya diesel imetutia kiwewe kumaanisha kwamba hata abiria wetu itabidi kwamba wameongezewa bei ya usafiri lazima fair etapanda huyo huyo mwananchi wa kawaida mwenye ameshindwa kutumia mpaka sukari unga kwake atapandishiwa nini fair yake itakuwa na shida kubwa sana kwa mwananchi wa kawaida the energy and petroleum regulatory authority director general pavel oimeke however defended the increment saying it was informed by the increased landed costs of the products with the shooting up of the petroleum products prices Coupled with the effects of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, Kenyans have no otherwise but to belt up and brace for more difficult times ahead. Alan Ochanda, KT News.